What's up, y'all? It's Chef Millie, the number one food trapper. You already know what it is. Tonight, we're making meatloaf, but we're stuffing it with mac and cheese. So let's grab your ingredients. We're going to hit the kitchen. Let's go. So what we did was we flattened out our ground beef, and then we seasoned the very flat surface of the ground beef with salt, pepper, a little bit of dry Italian seasoning, and a little bit of granulated garlic. And then we flipped the meat over, like folded it right back over into itself. And then we seasoned that surface also. That way we have nice seasoned ground beef getting ready for our meatloaf, for our mac and cheese meatloaf. So now we're gonna add a little bit of breadcrumbs. I got four or five pounds of ground beef here. So I'm gonna add about one large egg per pound of ground beef. That way, it'll bind it. So we have a little bit of panko breadcrumbs, one egg per pound of ground beef, and then we're gonna add a little bit of heavy cream. And the reason I add the eggs is to bind it, and the reason I add the heavy cream is because you're gonna lose fat when you make your meatloaf. When your meatloaf is baking, you're gonna lose fat. By adding heavy cream and panko breadcrumbs, it's gonna actually keep some of the fat in there. Now we just gotta add the good old American mac and cheese to the middle of it and bake it and it's gonna be amazing. You see that? That's how you know. That meatloaf's sturdy. From you make your mac and cheese because I want you to like your meatloaf. Spray your meatloaf pan very well. Spray it very well. Make sure the meatloaf is not gonna stick to the sides at all. You make sure when you put your meat in here for your meatloaf you don't overfill you you put enough to where it fills the sides and you pack it in very well so then that way you don't lose any meatloaf you don't have any like holes so now we got the meatloaf we got a nice little hole in the meatloaf so y'all know what we're going to do now we're going to stuff the meatloaf so now we're just going to fill our Nice little hole up with mac and cheese. I got the oven set at about 475. I want this mac and cheese to get hot. So now we gotta make the topping for the meatloaf. And then now we're gonna lay the top on top of the meatloaf. Like so. Boom, and then spread spread and lock the mac and cheese in. And it smells so good, that garlic, that salt and pepper, and that cheese already. There we go. Make sure you care about the whole meatloaf. Tuck all sides, tuck everything in. Boom, give it a nice little pat. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the meatloaf, leave it in this pan, and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes and let everything set. Okay, now we took the meatloaf out the refrigerator after letting it set for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna take it and flip it onto a cookie tray so then that way it cooks on all of the surfaces at one time. Boom. Voila, meatloaf. You feel me? Ah, uh, that's a good meatloaf, y'all. So now we're gonna go right in the oven. So we're gonna make a meatloaf sandwich, a mac and cheese and meatloaf sandwich. Nice bun, boom. Get us a nice piece of tomato. Nice thin slice of tomato. A nice, couple nice pieces of lettuce. Boom, nice piece of lettuce. Put the nice piece of lettuce down on the plate. Nice piece of tomato down on the plate. make 
make our meatloaf mac and cheese sandwich. So we cut our meatloaf. The meatloaf is perfect. The mac and cheese is perfect. So we're going to cut a nice good slice for our sandwich. Maybe like a quarter pound of burger slice. and tomato, and our burger bun, and there we go. Thank y'all for tuning in for the meatloaf stuff with mac and cheese with Chef Millie, the number one food tracker. Every week, tune in, 6.45, Sunday night, and we're going to have something for you every week. Just make sure y'all tune in and make sure y'all subscribe to the Chef Millie YouTube channel and tell a friend. That's all you got to do, tell a friend, and then everybody going to be able to make these dishes, man. You don't got to ask Chef Millie to make the dishes no more. All you got to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you'll be able to make them yourself. I appreciate the love. Chef Millie, the number one food trapper.